Hey everybody, and welcome to the Tesudo Brown channel, and this is my first ever spa that I've ever built at all, and it is called Waterfall Springs uh, Spa and Gym, and you can see there's going to be a lot of waterfall fountains that came with the spa day pack, and it's going to be cool and all that good stuff. It's a, this video is about 10 minutes, or oh, 11 minutes long. So, I won't be doing the talking the whole time, but we'll just be exploring and finally doing the tour of this spa that took me about a week to build. Anyway, we're now in the seating area where your sims cannot come in and just sit and talk and whatnot. As you can see over there, there's more of those fountains, and you also have the massage chairs in this section. And then down the hallway, we'll be exploring a little bit more, but I just wanted to point out the signs. There's new more objects. They're in a spa day pack. And we actually have those little white tiles. I've always wanted those, even in The Sims 3. But we didn't have them. But anyway, we got them now. Now, this part of the video, I'll be taking over the camera controls. Because it's a little tricky to try and get the camera angles done correctly. With the uh, settings that they have. But anyway, here we go. And we're going to go look into the saunas. And I have one each for the guys and one for the girls. Um... One thing you'll notice about this video is that the camera's a little jumpy, and I have not figured out why. I did as much as I could to uh, fix my computer so that the camera will be steady and not flickering and whatnot. So if it is flickering and it's bothering you, sorry about that. I did what I could. But anyway, here we are in one of the bathrooms. It's the men's room, obviously. And on the other side, we'll be going into the other sauna for the guys and it's done just a little bit differently you'll notice that I didn't put any paintings or anything on the walls because on real life you wouldn't want to do that anyway because you know they just wrinkle up and fall off so you wouldn't want to put paintings in a sauna anyway anyway here we go into the women's restroom which is right across the hall and then after this we'll be going outside uh, I didn't know what to do with those women decals and the arrow decals I wanted to use them so that's the only reason you'll see them in there and that's the only place you'll see them because honestly I didn't know what else to do with them anyway let's go over to the left and we'll see the outside part that we saw when we first came in and this is one of the pools that are in the spa I almost forgot what I was saying but anyway now we're gonna be heading over to the other section and that is going to be the meditation area. And it's got a lot of little knickknacks and whatnot. It's got some incense burners, uh, one of the drink trays. It does actually seat four because, I mean, I did use the move object sheet, but it actually does work. I've tested it thoroughly. And uh, if it doesn't work in your game, I'm not sure how to fix it. But I do know that uh, it works in mine. By the way, if you move too many things, you probably won't be able to get them put it back without the move object sheet on. So I wouldn't recommend going and moving a lot of things. Not that I use it a lot, but just in case. Anyway, here we are with the massage rooms. There's two of those. And I know it's small. They're small of course, close together with the counters. But of course, they do work. Otherwise, I'd have to rearrange the whole room. But anyway... We'll be going to the next room, and it looks pretty much the same, but the uh, color on the wall is different. It's uh, not teal, but it's just blue. It's your regular light blue. Other than that, the room put, looks pretty much the same, with the uh, only difference would be wallpaper and the one painting that's in the rooms. And on the way across, when we go across the hall, it will be the locker room. And once we get over there, I'll show you more about that. Because it was in the shower room that I had the most trouble. But anyway, locker rooms got both wooden set of lockers. I um, think that's a new mat. It came with a different pack. But it looks great in here. And now we have the other two bathrooms. Now, one thing I didn't know about the doors at first is that you can kind of see through them. Otherwise, I wouldn't have used them. But... They're there. And I think they look nice anyway. I mean, it is The Sims. It's not like you're actually going to look through the glass in order to see someone using the bathroom. It's, it's 
I hope not anyway. It'd be kind of weird. Anyway, what we're going to do next is go into the shower room. Now, I did have the lily pads that they came with the game. And I was using that for, like, floor mats. But it didn't quite work out because when I tested it, the sim would not go into the shower. And so I had to delete that. I didn't put anything else. I just left the room white walled with uh, wood floors. Make it look, you know, clean, nice and clean and all that good stuff. But all the bathrooms look the same. It just has the different doors on them for men and women to use. All together in the spa, you're going to end up with six showers and four bathrooms, uh, two massage tables, four massage chairs, and two pools, um, four meditation uh, seating area thingies over there, and a whole area for just yoga. Now, I don't know what it is about my version of the game or something like that, but it's like it doesn't spawn a lot of people. And that way, if uh, you want to spawn a lot of people, I hope that they have enough room and to get around and whatnot. Here's one of the angles from uh, the other waterfall, uh, waterfall fountains that uh, I had in there. That's why I called it Waterfall Springs. Here's the other pool. And the next room we're going to go into is the weight room. And there's plenty of uh, weight machines in there. I did use the new ones, but they're not quite as high quality as some of the older ones. So I took and put two of the older ones in the center of the room. And that way, if you, know, you want to use those instead, you can always use those. But anyway, across the, uh, this room... It's going to be the cardio room and the spa um, pack did come with a new punching bag so those I did use also of course it had the new gym equipment so I naturally use those too and you can also see that I use a lot of the windows and that's because I usually like more natural lighting in for my sims that way I don't have to put too many lights in one room in order to get it lit properly and here we are in the uh, yoga area. We're going to go into the cafeteria right quick. And then we're going to come back out and see the um, yoga mats. The yoga mats that are out there are actually all the different color ones that they have. But anyway, here we are in the cafe. It's got plenty of seating. Um, there isn't going to be like a worker that will spawn behind the bar or anything. But you can always go in there. Let's say you have a household of eight or something. You all go in there. You can cook food and drink and be merry but um you also go to the workout section the yoga section and all that good stuff um speaking of the yoga section so far i've gotten maybe four people at once out there right now we have three but that's pretty much how many people spawn on these lots now for me i don't know if it's just my computer or what but whatever and yeah like i said before this is basically all the matte colors that you'll get except for the leader ones you know the instructor mats there are like four different colors of those I didn't put all of those in obviously so that's pretty much it for the tour of this place uh, I want to thank you guys for watching please enjoy the rest of the video don't forget to subscribe like share you can follow me on Twitter Facebook tumblr and a few other places just check the description for all those links and I'll see you guys in a next house building video.